But I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell, I know, right now you can't tell. But stay a while and maybe then you'll see a different side of me. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little impaired, I know, right now you don't care. But soon enough you're gonna think of me and how I used to be me. And Matchbox 20, rediscovered them, it's pretty awesome. So, our goal today is to figure out the mean and standard deviation of binomial distributions. So this little letter Greek guy called mu is the measure of the standard is the measure of the mean, also called the expected value. And we're talking about the spread of these distributions. We use sigma, which is the standard deviation, or the spread, which is measuring the distance from the mean. So let's jump right on it. Let's find the mean and standard deviation of a binomial. So we were talking in the last video about a binomial distributions where we had 25 multiple choice questions and the probability of success was 0.25. So you should be able to figure out mu in this problem. How many problems do you expect to get right? Oh, very good. So you do 0 0.25 times 25. And what number does that give you? Yeah, it gives us a lovely number, 6.25. That's pretty strange. Like, how can you expect to get a quarter of a question right? Well, remember, like, if you take the average of all the children, of all the number of children that people have in America, it gets, like, what, 2.5 or 2.4? So there's nothing wrong with this number. This decimal is A-OK. -okay. But you just have to remember that you expect somewhere between 6 and 7, right? Probably closer to 6. Now the question is, how far away do you expect to be from 6.25? And that's where standard deviation comes in. And I'm just going to be honest with you, kiddos. This is how you find it. First of all, you take n times p times 1 minus p. So in this problem, we're just going to plug unt chug. That's 25 times 0.25 times 0.75. Plug that in your calculadora. and we get 2.16. So if you take in uh, normal distributions, you can sort of get take a guess at what range you'd expect to be from. You'd expect to be about 6.25, uh, maybe between 2 above or 2 below. So you expect to guess and get between 4 and 10 right. And it's really, really unlikely to get more than that correct. So in general, for a binomial distribution, and this is on your formula card. This is the mean is n times p in the standard deviation is the square root of n p 1 minus p. Well, isn't that exciting, kiddos? Well, I think it is. Up next, let's figure out the mean and the standard deviation of geometric distributions. All right, so in the last problem, we said that the probability of success was 1 out of 1,000 which is 0 0.0001 excuse me 0 0.001 my bad we want to know how long it's going to take for us to get that first correct winner that first correct lottery number can you take a guess at what that would be 
pause your video. All right, so you probably realize that, okay, if one out of a thousand gives me the correct lottery number, then you'd expect it to take a thousand trials. Well, you would be right. So, 1,000 is the expected value. Well, how do we calculate that from the probability? What we do is take that and put it in the denominator. That is 1 over 0 0.001, which is 1 over the probability of success, which I think is pretty awesome. And just like the uh, binomial distribution, what we're going to do for the standard deviation is just show you the formula. So that is the square root of 1 minus p over p. So when we calculate that out, this is the square root of 0.999 over 0.001. Let's throw that in the calculator real quick. And that gives us a standard deviation of 999.5, approximately. So that's a little bit rounded. So here's the idea. We're centered at 1,000, but, you know, it, we have a standard deviation of 1,000. So you don't actually expect to get it at exactly 1,000. We expect to win between 0 and 2,000 times. So you've got a big variation here which is no bueno. You could win it earlier, or you might win it much, much later than a 1,000 trials. All right, if there's anything I can clarify with this video, call me over. Other than that, I think we can just look at a couple of practice problems right now, and that will get you ready for the formative. So, first question. If you are taking a 37 question test and it's true false you what is the expected value how many do you expect to get right if you're guessing and then if you know the expected value, what is the standard deviation? So answer those questions. All right, so assuming that you've paused your video and worked through this, it's important to realize this is binomial. Otherwise, if it's not binomial, we can't use any of the rules we just learned. So it's binomial with n is 37, and then the probability of success is 0.5. So the mean is 0.5 times 37. Which is 18.5. So we expect to get 18.5 answers correct. So on the formative and on the summative, you're going to have to say what that number means. And our standard deviation is the square root of 37 times 0.5 times 1 minus 0.5. Now notice in this problem, 1 minus 0.5 ends up being 0.5 as well. So we'll take the square root of 37 times 0.5. That so that standard deviation of 3.04 means that the center of what we expect to get is 18, but you'd expect then to be 3.04 away from that. So a range might be from 15 to 21, where you'd expect to get these answers correct. All right, next question. Let's say you are a really bad three-point shooter like me. And you make the uh, three-pointers one out of seven times. How long or how many attempts before you get one right, before you get uh, make one shot.
So pause your video. All right, assuming you've paused your video. This is geometric. Once again, just like binomial, it's important to say what type of distribution is and define the probability of success as one seventh. All right, so to find the mean, we do one seventh. And we take that to the negative first power, which is the same as putting one over one seventh, which is the same as seven. So we reciprocate the fraction of the probability. So we expect it to take seven shots. And our standard deviation, and our standard deviation is one minus one seventh all over one seventh. If you need any help putting this in your calculator, let me know so that you can learn how to use the technology you have. Our standard deviation is approximately 6.5. So we might make it on the first shot, but it might also take 15 shots for us to make that basket. All right, hopefully this video was helpful. Good luck in your formative. I will see you soon.